I may be a corpse, but I am in much better physical condition than Dr. Baiju. I can never remember Dr. Baiju's face, but I don't mind. Dr. Baiju's prescriptions are pretty effective. They're bitter, that's for sure. But they always say that about medicine. The bitter, the better. So, I get it. Huh? Too bitter for you? Don't worry, I've got some candied dates here. One of these after you finish your medicine will take the taste away. I can smell mist flowers. It must be Dr. Baiju. What is he doing here? Uh, are you okay? Do you feel faint? Is your stomach sore? Or is it a sore throat? I got it. You're fatigued from all that adventuring. No? You're fine? Phew! <laughs> Otherwise, he would have made you drink some traditional herbal medicine. It's so bitter. Everyone has faith in Dr. Baiju's medical skills. He's the right guy to go to when you can't figure out what's wrong with you. Oh, the rumors, you say? The only one that I know for a fact is true is how disgusting his medicine tastes. It's not just the kids who find it bitter. It's left me with some horrible memories, too. Dr. Baju's prescriptions are the tops at preserving my voice. I did an impromptu performance for him as thanks, but the snake he keeps around his neck fainted away. <laughs> oh, now it ducks up Dr. Baju's sleeve every time I'm around. I only discovered afterwards that snakes are very sensitive to vibrations. The quality of his medicinal herbs is as good as it gets. He is also easygoing and considerate of others. By comparison, the little snake on his neck has no filter at all. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't lift a finger against it. I won't go as far as getting into a quarrel with a snake. You want Baiju to make a medicine to take away my pain. I understand your intentions, but mortal medicine has no effect on Adepti. Baiju? Ugh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs>